What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to Steve's 8 minute guide. Steve can be as simple as you want, you can play him with literally 2 attacks alone, or he can be as complicated as you want. He has a very rich and diverse move list, allowing many different ways to approach the opponent. He's known to be low risk, but high reward due to his incredible counter it utility, the best in the game. This makes him a tournament player favorite. So the most important question with Steve is when? When do we attack? Uh, back one is the best counter hit high in the game. Down for two is the best counter hit mid in the game. Back one at 13 frames is just as fast as Kalsia's perfect electric. And if you cancel it into flicker, it recovers pretty much immediately making it almost impossible to whiff punish. So you can just use this as a great defensive tool, fall back, move around, when do they go in, bam! Clip them on the jaw, hopefully a counter hit into huge damage. If you cancel this into flicker on block, it's only minus one, even allowing you to pressure from this attack. So it can be used defensively or offensively, like Steve, the character himself. Down for two, long range mid, <laughs> counter hit launcher that's homing yes it's really good and this one you also cancel uh, this time you cancel into duck to make it minus two and yet again it's a pretty strong offensive tool this one is hard to combo from this is the easy mode option duck in full crouch down for two 37 damage and some okay if you have the execution like me you can do a shiro combo to get a full combo but this is very very difficult to do if you want to be hardcore with steve though you're going to have to learn how to do that check a youtube video on that and jab one of the strongest moves in the game for all characters the strongest universal tool uh, steve has a very strong jab and the mix-up options here, you can do, for example, jab, 1-2, but then you have the ultra-powerful 1-2-1 one, one string. And this string, oh man, could be the best string in the game. Uh, the first three hits, the all three hits here, 1-2-1 one, one, combo and counter hit. 1-2-1 one, one is always a natural combo, but if you counter hit, 1-2-1 one, one is guaranteed for 33 damage. So again, you can use this as keep out defensively, or you can go offensively with it. And the mix-up utility here. You can add a fourth hit, a mid, that wall splat. You can add a low, that knocks them down. Uh, you can do one-to-one one into flicker stance, into crazy pressure options. You have so many options here from flicker, lab flicker. You can do one-to-one one into peekaboo stance by holding forward. And here you also have crazy mix-up potential. So one-to-one, one, one of the absolute best strings in the game. And the stances have crazy, crazy utility. So many different ways of uh, attacking the opponent. You, you have no idea. I can't go over it, all of it here in an eight minute guide. Uh, and if you want to, uh, you know, at the wall, Steve changes as a character. He doesn't really have a legit 50-50 out in the open. Dumbek 3-2 is a guaranteed low high, very risky. If they block the low, they'll duck the high and kill you. But when it does connect, it guarantees Albatross down too. Like so. Uh, it's, it's really good. But again, it has no range. So if we just hold back or backdash, you don't have a 50-50. So when he's at the wall, he has great wall pressure. Here you actually have a legit 50-50, because we have nowhere to backdash. So down back 3-2 is actually a legit option here. You'll mix that with the rocket launcher, Corso Ford 1. Uh, wall splatting mid, that hits from a million miles away, it's super good. If you cancel it into flicker, it's actually minus three on block. Like so, into pressure, it's super good. And at the, at the wall, you have a wall uh, push actually. Uh, back three, one plus two, a throw. This gives enough uh, advantage for a guaranteed one, one, two. It's really nice to have, to mix up the pressure with at the wall. And if Steve is the one that's cornered, you can hold back while doing this throw to, to knock them into the, the wall. This gives 13 frames of advantage, and suddenly you can actually wall splat them with back one, two. This is very, very good. So at the wall, he's quite lethal, uh, as you can see. Uh, and uh, they 
fixed him for Tekken 7. Oh, you know what? People aren't playing into my game plan. They aren't pressing buttons. They're, they're just guarding all, all, all day long. I hate it. Let's give him a guard break. He didn't need it. But in Tekken 7, he has a way of breaking a turtle's guard by doing an extended duck-in, forward free hold, and then do forward two from a blue spark uh, right hook there. And then you'll add another forward... Uh, a bat on guard guarantees a, another duck in forward two. So if a guard bat, that's guaranteed. He didn't really need this, but so he can do that as well. Guard break. And he has great movement. Uh, what is it? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Double sidestep. Uh, do a sidestep, like uh, to the left, for example, and press free. He'll do an extended sidestep, covering a lot of space. And you can do a counter attack. You can do the same uh, tap up four, counter attack. You can do a back sway uh, into a counter hit uh, to, uh, to, to counter the opponent. So evade and strike. You know, strong defensive capabilities. Can duck in with forward free and again have access to to, to very evasive attacks. Hey, villain. Simba. Uh, Simba is watching the Lion King. He's my co-anchor. Uh, so again, you have a lot of ways of going about it. I hope you saw now very strong defensive capabilities and very strong offensive capabilities. Uh, so, uh, how do you punish with Steve? Uh, 1 1 2 is the 10 frame. Uh, 13 frame, oh, 12 frame 2 1 into peekaboo. Uh, 13 frame, you can do back 1 2. 14 frame, Sonic Fang, it's from a million miles away. That's 14 frame. 15 frame, forward 1 plus 2, 2. So again, his block punishment is weak. It's more about, you know, the counter hit rather than blocking and then punishing. The fastest you can launch from standing is back to at 17 frames. So that's kind of bad. While standing, 11 frame, wild man is super strong. And, and then uh, you launch at 18 frames from crouching. So yeah, block punishment is really bad. That's the big weakness. So how do you counter Steve? Don't press, uh, don't press. Like, uh, be very, very careful of when you attack. Because, and he also has bad comeback potential. Like, if you have a big life lead against Steve, just don't press and backdash. He, he doesn't have a 50-50. Uh, so comeback potential is kind of bad. Uh, he has the best rage drive in the game, so just don't press. Uh, comeback potential is actually really bad with Steve due to not having that 50-50. He's also quite weak to high, uh, high crushing moves due to his strong height. So if you have good like high crushing utility, use those versus Steve. It's a, it's a very good idea to use high crushing attacks. Uh, and again, his block punish is weak. So for example, Negan's launching power crush for one plus two at minus 15. Steve can't launch it. Make the most out of that. That's a big weakness for Steve. And again, full crouch, uh, 18 frames is when he launches. Anna Snake Edge is minus 17. Steve can't launch it. That's a pretty big weakness. Um, oh, punch parries are good. He's only punching. Heihachi has a launching punch parry. That's probably a good idea. And try to stay away from walls due to his wall pressure and how he gets a legit 50-50 there. Uh, his wall pressure is really good. Uh, but I do want to stress, like, don't press needlessly versus Steve. Uh, use high crush. Uh, comeback potential is bad, uh, yeah, against Paul, you know, you never have a life lead, versus Steve, you have a life lead, uh, so d don't press if you have a life lead. Thanks for watching the video, almost 9 minutes, take care everyone.